Oh, hello there, viewer. Come in. Have a seat. My name is Ryan, and I will be your host this evening. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words, so today we will take the time to give the pictures found on the internet the words they so deserve. Today's picture will be this piece of art, submitted by my good friend Sammy. Time to see what sort of a story can be told from it. Let's start by taking a look at this masterpiece at face value. What we can tell for certain is that the uploader ordered a pizza, ate a few slices, and then, while unattended, their cat leapt upon the pizza, as if to claim it. They found this betrayal to be at least somewhat funny. Then, when the picture is finally being taken, the cat's facial expression turns more sinister, which makes the picture even sillier. Obviously, this combination of the cat's demeanor and the sheer discomfort of having cat hairs spread about your food is what led to the spread of this image. However, any alternatives you might find online, whether it be a Snapchat caption or a caption stating that the uploader accidentally left the lid open, are all fabrications. Only one person had their pizza ruined, and they uploaded their cat picture with no captions. Now with every picture comes a story, and finding the story behind this image was quite the daunting task. After relentless reverse image searching, I found no clues as to who the person might be. The picture blew up by being posted to Imgur May 20th and Reddit May 21st, both by user K3VBomb, getting a staggering number of upvotes and rightfully so. However, there is something rather contradictory about this. The first known upload of this image was on May 18th, 2015, on a website known as I Run the Internet, a search engine for funny pictures based in Liverpool. According to the About page, they say that while most of their content is from around the internet, they do occasionally post original content. So it's easy to assume that this cat belongs to one of the people running the website. Only problem is that behind the pizza box, you can see mail from BJ's Wholesale, which is a strictly American business. So it probably doesn't belong to the website's owner as he is based in Liverpool. For confirmation, I direct messaged the administrator, and he said that it is not his cat. Puzzling how K3V Bomb seems to be the original uploader, however this aggregate site of silly images published the photo before he did. So we may never truly know the identity of this cat or its owner, however we can extrapolate more details regarding this person's life from the picture. Most notably is that the original uploader of this picture was a brave soul, having one half of the pizza contain onions and maybe lettuce, with the other half, claimed by the cat, very clearly having pineapple along with pepperoni and maybe ham? At first, I believed this was simply one person with eclectic tastes, but considering the pizza was split in half by topping, and that some onions were moved to the corner, as if picked off and set to the side, this pizza appears to have been delivered to a gathering of a couple close friends. You can deduce they're close because their dining table is an absolute mess with flyers from the mail still being out. True friends don't care about how much of a mess your place is. Maybe they're even roommates. Their drink of choice is Sprite, an admirable choice, but something should be said about the pizza itself. The box has no label on it, unlike what you'd see from Domino's or Papa John's. However, that might be in its favor considering the travesty that is the presentation. Any self-respecting pizza service would pre-slice the pizza. However, judging by the pizza roller present, the uploader of this picture had to slice the pizza themselves. Additionally, with a number of onions and pineapples set to the side, it's clear that either the uploader did an awful job of slicing the pizza, or that the pizza's toppings were lazily distributed. Although with that many onions, there is the possibility of a third party who just wanted a cheese pizza, so picked off the onions from a slice. But with the pineapples still present, it appears they might have contaminated the onion half, maybe picked off by the same person. Perhaps this cat's decision to commandeer this pizza slice was an act of mercy to spare them early on before they could eat any more pizza. Maybe this kitty, who we'll call Gerald for now, was a sort of ratatouille situation, knowledgeable of finer dining, and spotted this pizza, deeming it unworthy. You can tell that Gerald jumped the gun early, seeing how cats usually gravitate towards warmer surfaces, ergo the pizza is likely still warm. Additionally, the sprite is nearly full, so one can assume that not much has been poured and that this cat hopped on the pizza before his owner could even think about starting their side salad scene behind it. And perhaps Gerald's look of disappointment stems from shame. 
Shame that his owner would eat something so tasteless. Not only does the vendor not take pride in their work, but Gerald's owner is in fact putting pineapple on pizza, a debate that extends these thousand words. At first I believed that the face given by the cat was just silly timing on the photographer's part, but taking a look at Gerald's hair along the spine slightly standing up, one can tell that Gerald is somewhat agitated and perhaps protective of this pizza slice, whether it be to keep the terrible taste from his owner, or because he has his own personal warm triangle that he wants all to himself. Even if you want this pizza now, with cat fur on it, you won't be getting it back. To come to an end of our word count, this picture gives off a unique feeling to it. There's a casual air with a disheveled apartment, however the cat holds an energy of animosity that overpowers the whole thing. No surprise that this cat reached a level of popularity on this internet, although that would apply to any cat, wouldn't it? <laughs>